Hello. Hey, hey, hello. Hi. How are you? Let's first off, let's get the elephant out of the room. I am drinking instant coffee. I'm sorry. But sometimes the cheaper the coffee, the darker the coffee, that Cafe Bastello, it just sets something right in the soul, you know what I mean? And it's my signature drink whenever I'm here. Whenever I'm here? Wait, what do you mean whenever you're here? Where are you? So the setting has changed. Um, we're in a whole different, well not different actually, <laughs> because I moved again back to Savannah, back in Savannah, Georgia. I never would have thought honestly that I would be back here, but the opportunity came once again. And I think I would be a fool not to pass that up because, you know, life was a lot different two years ago. Didn't have a car, didn't grow as much as I did or I could have. And it's been very interesting seeing all of the different changes and then also feeling more at peace in this place that I really did love a lot when I was living here before, but now I can enjoy it a lot more because I know people here and I have a car and also finding more opportunities um, like doing open mic poetry and um, finding new places to explore like hikes and stuff. Recently it's actually been pretty good have a job, have my old job back <laughs> at the coffee shop. I work at two coffee shops now. And I've been here since for probably about two weeks, but life already seems to be moving, going, um, like it's setting, it's setting itself, you know? So yeah, I'm back in Savannah. I don't know really for how long. Again, it's kind of the same thing of uh, just, I guess I just wanted to live here again, <laughs> pure and simple. So we will see how this new kind of new chapter plays out. But I did also want to talk about, sorry, if you can hear her scratching, I'm going to go let the dog out. I also wanted to talk about the feelings that I have been feeling since this move. Um, that I have not felt so deeply before because when I first moved here I just purely wanted to get out of Arizona. I just did not like it there. I didn't... yeah I just kind of wanted to change and it's kind of the same thing. I do want to change but I also missed it here now that I know what's up. And so I didn't feel as I was excited to be in such a new place when I first moved here. I was like, whoa, everything is so different and I'm just simply overwhelmed by the atmosphere and this new life that I've fallen into. And I didn't really have time to think back on home and I didn't really have the bonds that I did um, the first time. Uh, yeah, I didn't bond as much with my family or friends. And then when I moved back to Arizona, um, I felt very homesick for here, which is weird. And then all I wanted to do was be back here because I had my bonds <laughs> and I had my life. So, you know, my life in Arizona for the past, in 2023, it was, you know, it was good. As good as it could be. I did work nights and I did feel pretty lonely at first. I was not treating myself very well. Was kind of going down a not great spiral of just like feeling a little adrift and feeling, yeah, lonely and then using unhealthy coping mechanisms to deal with that loneliness. And then six months into 2023, I just decided, you know what, like call family or hang out with family. 
And then as my job was getting a little bit more steady, I was bonding with my coworkers and I was like very entangled in my routine of um, talking with people every day and bonding with people and growing deeper connections within my family. And it's when I was living at my aunt and uncle's is when, man, that was, <laughs> about to start crying. <sighs> yeah, it was really nice because there's just, there's a lot of love there and I felt very at peace, even if I was living in stupid suburb Arizona. I was having a really nice time. It was easy, it was very simple, very peaceful, and I could just like talk and talk and talk with my aunt if I needed to. Um, that to that's not to say that, you know, th things didn't happen, but it was easy to, mm, I guess, I didn't feel so alone in some some of the experiences, I guess, that happened. I'm so grateful for that time, and that's not to say, you know, it probably can't happen again, but sometimes, you know, I just kind of felt like being an adult again, <laughs> and I felt very taken care of when I was living there, and yeah, and so then this came up, and then when I moved here, um, when I, when I came here, 2024, February, I felt like I missed everybody so much. I missed my my job, I missed my coworkers, I missed my family, and I cried so much, like sob. I've never sobbed like that <laughs> in a while. I, I sob at movies like that, but that's movies, you know? Come on. That's just, it's real, but not. And, I have my friends here, and there's always opportunities to make new friends as well, new connections, I know that, but just having that whole life, I, I felt like I ripped it out for no good reason at first. I was like, why did I, why did I do that? Why did I leave a calm and peaceful life where I wasn't exactly, I was not unhappy. I don't think I can remember being so filled in my heart in a long time. Actually, probably ever. <laughs> so, leaving that behind, you know, when you leave family behind, when you leave that comfort, it's like there's that void that unsure how to fill it. And so, I'm still kind of dealing with that homesickness and, like, there's not a day in my life where I'm like, oh, I just wish I could talk to these people, these people, these people in person. I wish I could, and sometimes I wish I could go back to my night job and just write, because I, you know, I had a lot of time during that job, so I would just sit there and write and write and write. Um, I just, I miss it a lot, I still do. So it's weird having to be in two worlds. Yeah, that, that homesickness was very violent, <laughs> it was very, not the best feeling, but I do know, and I know this, and I, sometimes I'm not sure if I'm just telling myself that because I want to feel better or if I'm really feeling it from my heart, but most of the times I feel it from my heart that it's for the better. I grew a lot here when I was living here, and I can already feel that I'm still growing now, you know, early 20s. <clears throat> even 30. I mean, we're always growing. If you're not always growing in life, maybe it's time to switch it up a little bit. Or if, if life just feels a little stagnant, there's got to be some movement. I feel that. That's just for me personally. I, I always feel like life gets a lot more purposeful when there's some kind of movement, some kind of growth going on, at least once a month, like there's some kind of formative experience there. So, yeah, I, I just am very torn between the comforts of home and then the growths of being independent again. 
and being um, having to come to myself most of the time when I'm feeling this way. And I do have my friends, but I just don't feel like I want to burden them with <laughs> my heavy feelings. So it's like, it's good that I do have my people around me that I can talk with and be in company with. And then it's like, okay, I need to have my, re my quiet reflection time <laughs> and uh, yeah, cry a little bit. Being torn between, yeah, wanting to grow and then wanting to have comfort, it's kind of... I love my comfort. I love comfort. I try to make every single day, try my best to make myself a place of comfort for when I need, when I need me. Um, and not a place of, oh, you need to do, like, bitterness, you need to do this, why'd you do this? Like, anger or guilt, I guess, or, um, push, pushy, I don't know, how, what do you call that? A pushing kind of feeling? Um, yeah, I just, when you are in a new place, feeling lonely or a little bit lost, I think it's always the best to know that, you know, as long as there's a roof over your head and candles and you can talk to yourself in a good way. You can always come home to yourself, no matter where. No matter where you are, you can always come home to yourself. And I've been practicing that for these past couple of weeks and trying not to feel adrift, <laughs> which is hard because sometimes I let myself do that. Very, yeah. And I used to, I used to let myself carry myself off to far places and sometimes bad places just because I didn't want to sit alone. <laughs> I can't really sit here and say that I've accomplished that, but I'm practicing it. Yeah. But that's just a little life update that I wanted to let you guys in on. Just in case you're wondering, she put out a vlog, but now where is she? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what's been going on. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you stick with me stick with me here and I think that's all I have to say right now so I will see you very soon okay bye